everybody. In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the hottest text-to-speech AI tools in the market, which is called 11 Labs. I'm going to show you how to create audio files from small pieces of text, how it behaves when you provide it different languages. Like all my other videos, the timestamps will be mentioned in the description below. If this is your first time to my channel, I would like to know your background a little bit. Please add a comment mentioning whether you're a software engineer, maybe you're an artist, maybe you're a musician. This helps me gear my videos more towards the audience that I have. All right, let's get started. So 11 Labs does something which a lot of tools have already done in the past, which is convert your text to audio. However, the quality of 11 Labs is so good that it already has a large user base and it's still in beta. To get an idea, go to this website called beta.11labs.io. If you just search 11 Labs on Google, that's probably what it's gonna redirect to. Now, all you need to do is to create an account. You can also try it out right here without creating an account, but it limits you up to 333 characters. On first glances, it might appear that you can just keep using this section over and over again. However, it does detect your IP and limit you, because that's what happened to me. I used this too many times, so I can't use this anymore. If I click give me an idea now, it says you have exceeded the number of allowed requests without creating an account. And I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in. But just letting you know that this does have a limit. After you have your account, just click login. This is the page you're gonna see. It's pretty simple. The settings section has the number of voices that you have available. Then we have the settings section, which lets you control the stability of the voice and clarity and similarity enhancement of the voice. I'll tell you more about this in a bit. The next section is the text where you type in your text or you copy paste a text from somewhere else. At the bottom, you're gonna see the number of characters your text is using. So if you type hi here, it's using two characters. All exclamations count as one character as well. Why is that important? Because the free tier allows up to 10,000 characters every month. As you see, I'm currently subscribed to the free tier. I have used 115 characters out of 10,000 and my next character reset is in seven days. So it does reset every month. So it does give you a fair number of characters to play around with. If you wanna go on the higher tier, you're allowed up to 30,000 characters per month on the starter tier and they have an 80% off on the first month of the starter tier. I think I'm gonna get that because that means you're going to pay only two months for the first month and try out a lot of these features up to 30,000 characters and up to 10 custom voices. As I already showed you, all the voices that it comes pre-built with is available in this drop down. You can either select any of the voices here and type a text and click generate. But the problem is that's going to use up some of your characters. Instead, what I recommend is just to go back on this drop down and click the preview for each of the voices that you want to hear. So I want to hear what um, Antony sounds like. Not what we have, but what we enjoy constitutes our abundance. Now let's try Josh. I have often regretted my speech, never my silence. And let's try Rachel. Well begun is half done. Now you can try typing something here. Say hi. Now you can try typing something here. Now just select the voice you want to use. I'm going to go with Bella. And click generate. Hi, I am a robot talking to you for a tutorial. Now, 11 Labs also allows you to add your own custom voices. For that, you come to this button called Add Voice. This brings you to Voice Lab, where you can add your own custom voice. I'm gonna have another video coming out talking all about the Voice Lab in the future. Let's go back. Now let's go over the voice settings. There's two things you can control here. The first one is stability, and the second one is clarity plus similarity enhancement. How this works is if you move this controller all the way to the end here, it's gonna make the voice more variable. What that means is it's gonna sound a lot more expressive. If you move this all the way here, it's gonna sound more stable, but that means it's gonna sound more robotic. The second setting improves the clarity of the voice, especially if there's more background sounds present. So you have to play around with this setting a little bit to adjust to your speech. You can always bring them back to default using this button. So to demonstrate how 11 Labs works, I asked ChatGPT to write me a sarcastic poem about my boss. So sarcasm requires expressiveness, and I think it's a great way to demonstrate 11 Labs. So for the first run, I'm gonna keep everything to its default and use Bella. Oh my dear boss, how you inspire to work with you is my heart's desire. Your constant nagging and micromanaging are simply tactics of great managing. Now I'm gonna make it a lot more variable. Oh my dear boss, how you inspire to work with you is my heart's desire. Your constant nagging and micromanaging are simply tactics of great managing. Do you see how the expressiveness went up? I think Bella sounded a lot more sarcastic in the second time. Now I'm gonna make it a lot more stable, say all the way up to here. Oh my dear boss, how you inspire to work with you is my heart's desire. 
Your constant nagging and micromanaging are simply tactics of great managing. To me, that sounded less sarcastic than the last time. Now let's use another paragraph. I'm going to do the first run without any changes. Your criticisms are truly uplifting, and your praises are oh so uplifting. You never forget to remind me that you are the one who hired me. Now let me get the clarity all the way down here. Your criticisms are truly uplifting, and your praises are oh so uplifting. You never forget to remind me that you are the one who hired me. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but make it a lot more variable. Your criticisms are truly uplifting, and your praises are oh so uplifting. You never forget to remind me that you are the one who hired me. I hope you have an idea now on how the basic settings work. I think to demonstrate the clarity function, you need a lot more background noise, which I don't have, unfortunately. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is how 11 Labs behaves when we provide text in different languages. At first, I thought I would try the different kinds of text myself. However, I found Mr. Adam here has already done that. So he tried languages all the way from English to Arabic to Ukrainian to Hindi to Amharic. Georgian, Greek, Mandarin, Hebrew, Malayalam, Sinhala, and Cherokee. And all these texts have already been tried out. So full credit to Adam for this. English. Human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Arabic, you old, jam my lens. Huran mitzwin fi to krump wolkyu. Kudwati ich biobus. Klan du yudmiran walayhem. And yumisil bedum beden bruchlach. Ukrainian versil yudi narodzu. Yutsia vilnimi irivnimi usvoi igid nostita pravak. Voni nadileni rozumum isovistui povini diati uvidnosheni odindu ad nogo vidusi bratarsva. Hindi spiri minusion kogaurva aur ad hikaron ke mam le men jim jat sventada ar smanta prapthai. Unhen budi ar antrat ma kidem prapthai ar prosper unhen bai kare ke bhav se bertav kurnakahi. Amharek yasawe lehe hulu siwalade natsana bakeberena bama bete me. Ekula nat yalawe nawe. Yata fadero maseta walena helena selalawe anedu le lawene bawane de mama senate manefase mamaleka te yega bawal. Georgian koveli adamiani ibadeba ta avisu pali da ta anaskori ta visi girsebita da aple bebet. Mat mini cebuli aktago neba da sindisida ert manetis mi mart unda ex iodnen zemobis sulis kvetebit. Greek oloe oi anthropoi geni untai eleuteroi kai isoisten axio prepeia kai ta dikaiomata. Einai proikis me noi me logike kai sunai dese kai of heilun nasum periferontai metaxu tus me pnuma adelfosunes. Mandarin ren ren shenger ziu ai zun yan hi kwan li shang yi chan ping den. Tamen chen li xing hi liang xin bing ying yi yi ge zuo er de jing xin xiang dui dai. Hebrew kekel bani adam en vrul de bani havrin vish vim berkem bisk tvive dem. Kavlum vanv. Bidabum vim taste bevin. Yi pai ke h h hav. Lai him la navri aish brav brav shalav. Malaya lam nusaira la avrin tuliav kashin galutun an sutun svatun tri tutun kuti jenikit tul vran eni onin bra atrabav tuta peruma arovan nan. Nusinu vivik budiyon min saksiyon sid ma yirikunt. Zin hala silum nusayu nitsav optilba ayet. Grutvian ha ayitivaya sikm vlin sman veti. Yukti, a yukti pilibe bint hen gaimen ha hardi saksiyen yut ovun. Ovun ovunt, sel kai yute shudert vi pilibe bint hen gim eni cheruki mi. Na. Korean saram duli. Isegiero o daga modu jayu hago. Jonyom gua gweon ri pyong donguro is neunda. Gudiul ri siong gua yang simi is nungo. Yong jay jong sinuro sang horo tsirio haso. Thank you Mr. Adam for creating that for us. They already mentioned that their current software works best with the US English accent. What that means is you can try out different languages and it's probably going to give you an audio. However, it's going to sound like it's an American speaking those languages with a thick American accent. The last thing I want to demonstrate is how 11 Labs reads sounds. That means words which don't make any sense, but they're more of human sounds. So these are not real words, but these are more like sounds a human would make. So a good text to speech software should be able to understand that and speak it out like a human being. So I'm going to try it out with Josh and I'm going to keep everything to its defaults. And <laughs> that was really funny. Let me edit it a little bit. This time, let me make the stability a bit lower. I personally think that it did a really good job. So even though this sounds funny, you see what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to make it sound more human. 
So all of those sounds like it's someone just waking up in the morning or someone who had a terrible day. So this is like something someone would say if they had a terrible day, like, oh my God. Or this is like someone is like, I don't want to wake up for work. Or what is this? This tastes terrible. It's like, yeah. So these are sounds a human would make, but a robot might not. But 11 Labs did a really good job. In fact, it's almost scary how good that is. If I did not know better and I heard those sounds in the background, I'll probably think it's just my friend waking up from sleep or my partner is having a terrible day or it's just someone whining about their job. I hope I was able to explain you how 11 Labs works and I hope you got some value from this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.